Israel is persisting with its ground operation in Gaza as the war enters its fifth month. Much of Gaza has been deemed uninhabitable after the RDF launched an assault on the enclave's north in October before moving south to the city of Khan Yunus. Satellite analysis from the end of January shows 175,000 buildings have been destroyed or damaged and half of Khan Yunus has been wiped out. Sky's Alistair Bunkle is there and gained access through Gaza's tunnel network. We've just uh, reached the centre of Khan Yunus. It's just been captured, taken by the IDF. They think they've got control of it now, but there's a lot of gunfire still going on. And uh, it was clearly, I mean, just look around, clearly a very, very heavy battle here. The IDF had brought us in to show us a tunnel network under a residential neighbourhood. We walked down the dark passageways, 25 metres underneath the city, passing through different districts above us. The sound of fighting no longer audible. The Israeli military told us that they believe Hamas leaders had been hiding down here, including Yahya Sinwar. It's certainly possible, but we saw no evidence of that for ourselves. What we did see was a prison cell. The RDF say they've been able to match DNA found down here to three of the released hostages. They think 12 in total were held here. If anybody in the world needs evidence for the horrific actions that the terror entity Hamas has done, you're in it. Our team in Gaza filmed some of the few who had remained in Khan Yunus fleeing south in recent days. They're holding up their green Palestinian identity cards, hoping to be let through a temporary checkpoint made by Israeli tanks at the bottom of this street. It is a constant, desperate search for safety. The Palestinian people here have paid and are paying an almighty price for this. They are. They are. So am I. I paid a price. They I, look at it and think you're also fighting us. I paid you're a, ruining our lives. You're destroying our houses. There's nothing for us to come back to. Can you understand how that might be they a should, prevailing opinion? I do. And I think that they should turn their rage towards Hamas. But they'll and probably cement, turn their rage towards and you cement, as well. And cement, maybe. And that may, creates may, a may, Maybe, maybe. Maybe they will. Maybe they will. At the end of the day, it's war up the, up the top. It's war down here. War is not a pretty sight. My people were killed on the 7th of October, 2023, were slaughtered and burnt. What would Britain do if a terror entity entered Britain? After four months of fighting, the Israeli military has not yet found and destroyed many of the tunnels, and they have not yet eliminated Hamas. They cannot then claim victory yet, and they might be running out of time.